Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade, and today I am going to review a new home sewing machine by Janome. This is the sewing machine that we got my daughter for Christmas. It is a beginner sewing machine, and I think it's geared towards kids. It comes in lots of bright different colors. Also, I apologize for my voice. Um, I have a little, I'm losing my voice a little bit, so I'm doing my best to get through this video. So this is a pretty small machine. We also got the um, little bag that comes with it. And this is where my daughter stores her sewing machine when she's not using it. It comes with a big pocket for the machine and then a smaller pocket for um, the plug and the pedal. She also has some thread and scissors in here. So at first glance, I like the small size because it means that um, my daughter can easily pick it up and move it all by herself. I actually liked the bright colors because for my daughter she just loves having a bright color so it's um, more fun and interesting for her. It works just like a regular sewing machine. You have a spot for thread on the top and you have um, a drop-in bobbin. So um, I like that she's learning to sew like with a regular sewing machine with the two different threads that lock. I didn't want to get a machine that was a chain stitch machine because um, I just don't think that she would have learned to sew like with a normal sewing machine. I really liked that the sewing machine foot is like a normal size and it works normally but it almost has like little barriers on the front and on the side. And I like that because as my daughter's learning, that will help protect her fingers from getting to the um, needle so she's less likely to sew through her finger. So I liked that a lot. I do think that this sewing machine is a little bit loud for its size, but that's not that big of a problem since um, she's sewing usually when I'm sewing. To thread the machine, you start with your thread so there is, um, this is the spool for the thread, so you can push it in to be kind of hidden, or you pull it out for the thread. I don't love that, I do wish there was something on top, but um, I think it's okay. So you put the thread on, and then to do the bobbin, you would pull your thread through around this spinny thing, and then you put your bobbin here, and then you would thread the bobbin. I really, really like that for her to store some of her smaller things, there's this tiny little drawer here in the front. So there's this storage in here. So the machine came with, um, I can't remember, one or two bobbins, and I actually bought some extra bobbins so that she can have lots of different colors and choose it how she wants. But I love that she can store all of her bobbins right here. I actually wish that my regular machine had like a bobbin storage like this. I think it's great. She also has an extra sewing machine needle. And so I'm going to put the bobbin in so the, the top slides off like this. And then it has a little arrow where the thread's supposed to go. So I usually let this hang here until I thread. So um, then you bring your top thread, bring it through here. I do wish that the um, arrows were a little more obvious of where you're supposed to th um, thread, like put the thread because um, I find it a little tricky to teach my daughter how to thread a sewing machine since um, the arrows are just, there's like only a couple instead of one at every single step. So then you come down like this come up and then actually so this instead of have something that you just loop around you actually have to thread your thread through and I actually think that will help um, less likely for my daughter to miss that because it will have to go through and then you come down thread it through the top of the needle and because of the extra um, because of the extra size of the sewing machine foot, you know, to protect the fingers, it actually makes it pretty tricky to thread the needle because your fingers, it's kind of chunky, it gets in the way.
Now I'm going to pull up the bobbin thread and put this back on top. And one thing that I've noticed with my daughter as she's learning, if she ever has a short tail here um, from the foot, then it's more likely to get pulled up and out of her needle. So I am teaching her currently to just have a really long tail and then her needle, it just uh, works a lot better and she's able to do, um, to sew without the thread getting pulled out. To drop the foot down, there's a little um, lever back here. The one thing that I wish this machine had that once I noticed it was a little frustrating to me is that there's no um, little knife or cutter or anything for the thread when you sew and then you, you know, my machine has a little knife right here on the side that you would slide your thread through and it would cut it. So I have not found a spot where the thread can be cut. I know a lot of machines have something right in the back of the sewing machine foot, but this machine does not have anything. So every time my daughter stops sewing, she has to use scissors to cut it out. And I, that irritates me because I think that she would, I think that you should learn to have your machine cut your thread when you're done because every other machine has that. So this machine has these different stitches. So this is a really nice, um, set of stitches. I think that they'll all get used and they're all good for um, You know basic sewing and apparel sewing. She'll probably pretty much only use These straight stitches and maybe some zigzag if she's doing um, any knit fabric um, It doesn't have a buttonhole option, but I honestly don't think that a child would be doing a buttonhole um, when they're starting out and the way to change the stitches is to just um, you just turn this dial to the one that you want. So I usually have her stay at B. I find it's um, the most regular stitch and it's a straight stitch in the middle. So I have a little piece of quilting cotton and I have bright pink thread so that you'll be able to see um, what it's doing as it's sewing. And I'm actually going to sew from the back so that you'll have a better view um, with the camera. Oh, and I forgot, if she ever wants to backstitch, then she just is sewing and she pulls down this little button and it starts backstitching and then she stops. We haven't actually gotten to teaching her about backstitching, so she hasn't used it that much. I did have to, when it first came, um, this dial was off and I had to fiddle with it for a little bit, but once I found the right tension, um, my daughter hasn't really had a problem with it. And that's often with um, inexpensive machines, I find the tension to be the biggest problem and the hardest thing to work with. And so um, I'm pretty impressed with the tension of this machine. I don't think she'll ever have a tension problem. I think she'll have more of a problem of threading it wrong or putting the bobbin in wrong. So you could see that the machine was a little bit loud, um, but it does really well. I'm really impressed with the machine. Um, I've been really happy with it. My daughter has been really happy with it. I think this is a really fantastic beginner machine because the tension is really easy to work with. Um, it's small, so children can um, pick it up and move it when they want to use it. I like that it has different stitches, but it's not too many, so it's not overwhelming. I like that you can buy a little bag to store it in so that you always have a place to put it and all of the accessories that go with it can go in the bag. And I love the little drawer. I just think that that um, little storage is so great for little kids so that they learn to keep everything in one place like their bobbins and maybe a seam ripper or anything that will fit in there I think is great. And that is my review of 
the new home Janome sewing machine. I think it's a really fantastic machine that can do just enough for beginners to keep them excited and interested without being too overwhelming. It's a nice compact little machine with storage. If you're looking for a beginning sewing machine, this is a great place to start. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day.